took two and one. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. And I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am rebuked. So at the end it shall speak. And that's what's happening. You got Jake waking up out of confused state. And that reproof is correction. Basically the counsel of the heavenly father and his son. The plans of what they got going. And how they going how they going set America up to be in debt and how they going to deliver the nation of Israel for all this, for all for all the atrocities and the and the, and, the, and the killing that was done to the nation of Israel. Basically going to use the mother nation to destroy this place, man. Right? God. Verse 2. And the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, write the visions and make it plain. Write the visions and make it plain. What visions is that talking about? What the prophets got according to the scriptures? All Because all these, because all these, all these uh, uh, prophecies in here, those were visions given uh, to the prophets by the heavenly father. Go ahead. God. And it says, write the vision and make it plain upon table that he may run that read it. Look up that word run. Because if you look in the well, if you look in the blue letter, they're gonna tell you actually run it. But if you look in the strong concordance, it's gonna tell you to break it, uh, to break it down. So he said, write it plain for for him, and he may run that read it, meaning break it down when he read it. So, so the uh, uh, the men of the Lord can understand these uh, uh, scriptures plainly and break it down to you, so you can understand and grow in the spirit, spiritually build you up. Right? God, it says, Hebrews 73, 23. That's the point? Yeah. Oh, okay. And it says, uh, what to thou. It says, oh, God, my. It says, oh. to run for whatever reason, especially to rush, to break down. To, to break down. To break down. Okay, go ahead. Divide speedily. Divide speedily. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Here a little and there a little. Go ahead. Ring hastily. Make run away through. Post. The now, blue letter to run. Blue letter to run. What else? It says to run swiftly to dart. Ring or move quickly. Hurry. To drive away from to cause to run away. See? So it don't, it just give you the, the definition to just run. But when you look it up in the concordance, it gives you the definition of breaking it down. And that's what we're doing, breaking it down. You see? Go ahead. Yeah. And it says, back in the... Uh... And sometimes, and sometimes, uh, 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 sometimes the blue letters water down, sometimes it's not, you know? Sometimes the concordance gives you a, a better definition, and sometimes it don't. So that's why we jump back and forth, man. That's certain, man. That's in, that's in the spirit. So if you think, oh, oh, if I just go in the blue letter, that's the end of be all or the particular word, and that's what that means. Hell no. You gotta search, man. You gotta search. That's a good, that's a good tool, but you gotta search, man. Uh, and it says, verse 3, Habakkuk 2 and 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak. I said, I'll get it back to you. Oh, I, I go ahead. I go ahead. Yeah, you sure? You sure? Yeah. You, you it sure says, for the vision <laughs> is at an appointed time. That means these prophecies in these revelations in this Bible, it says an appointed time. It's a fixed time when everything is going to happen. So when you see things happening, that's the way it's supposed to happen. It's already fixed and established. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh has already got it set to how he wanted to happen. That's why he already got martial law set on how it's going to happen. He already got the, uh, the chip set on how it's going to happen. The and debt? The debt, everything. And he got it already set. Today he going to bring these thermonuclear missiles, man, to destroy America. This date right here is already set. As we say, set in stone. It's, uh, it's already set, this date right here. The earth of the kingdom of heaven, that's already set, right? And it says, it says, but at the end it shall speak. It's going to be declared at the end. And y'all going to see it, man. And it says, and, and, it, and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will tarry not. Just because it ain't coming as fast as you want it to come, the 
Lord is making it tarry, it's gonna it's gonna tarry not, right? It's not gonna it's not gonna slack. The destruction is not gonna slack totally. It's gonna come, right? So that's what that scripture talks about. And it says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is upbraided in him, but the just shall live by faith. What number you at? That's uh, verse four. Uh, up, up, upright in him. His soul which is in, lifted up is not upright in him. Right? And that's them two thirds. But it says the just shall live by faith. And that's how we live, man. And Esau. And, yeah, and Esau. They gonna, yeah, and we gonna live by faith, man. That's how we live. So for you people out there saying we faith-based Israelites, man, I'm gonna tell you right now, you Ooh. must you must never read Galatians, the fourth chapter. Oh. You must never read the third chapter. You must never read the second chapter. Slow down, slow down. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> You're bringing too many faith scriptures. <laughs> <laughs> slow down, slow down. <laughs> you cutting the hell out of Nate, man. <laughs> well, hey, man, it's real, cause hey, I, the Spirit had me read it the other night. Man, I'm telling you, hey, it's a scripture. They just never read it, man. You cutting the hell out of Nate, man. They Slow down, man. It, bro. <laughs> Slow down. It's uh, Hebrews 11 and 6. Good. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that, that come up to God must, but must believe that he is. And that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You have a shot, man. You know? So we we not gonna be justified just by doing that law, man. You gotta be justified no. uh, through faith, brother. That's why you had to. That's why he had to come. No. When you when you go in, like I was like I was explaining Daniel's the the, the, the ninth chapter. No. That that was the whole reason when I started. I just I was just breaking down a little bit. But when I start linking up them precept 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 on precept, it show you uh, Israel was doing a lot of sacrifices. Why? Because they couldn't keep the law. They kept doing stuff wicked, wickedly, and they and what they would do, they would just bring uh, sacrifice. And like I was saying, through the Spirit, the Heavenly Father would say, man, y'all sacrifices, you know, it ain't no good no more. And that's why I got to bring bring uh, uh, bring his son. And that's where you get the New Testament at, the New Covenant. You see? Because the covenant that was written on stone, Israel couldn't keep it. And that's where the mercy come in at. God. You see? So if you're saying you're going to be saved by the law and just that, man, you, I, you, yeah, you, I, I know you don't know the breakdown of Daniel chapter 9. I know you don't. God. And if you do, you ain't going to teach your congregation to it. You ain't going to teach your congregation that chapter because that's going to cut yourself. You're going to cut yourself. When you link up them precepts, you're going to cut yourself. God. And they're going to be looking at you like, I thought you said all we had to do was keep the law. <laughs> you see? And then you can't never read uh, Galatians, the second chapter. <laughs> you can't never read that. You might as well rip that, rip that book out. <laughs> I mean, that chapter out. But you can't never read that. Uh, 